Hi everybody, Cecilia here with Bone Health Journey. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am feeling better because last week I fell. Hmm. Yeah, not cool. Stupid thing. And at home. I can't even blame it on the ice outside. But I fell at home. So, um, let me tell you my story real quick. I had gotten ready for bed, was getting ready for bed. Um, you know, we all have those throw pillows we like to throw on our bed because it looks so pretty. And at night you got to take them off. And in the morning you put them back on. <laughs> anyway, so I was taking them off. Mm -hmm. That's what I was doing. My foot got caught in my bed skirt. Not the first time this has happened, but I usually catch it and kind of pull it out. This time I had my pillows in my hand and um, couldn't stop it. My foot got caught, I was tangled up in it, and down I went on my knee, my right knee. Let me just say that it really, really hurt pretty bad. And as I looked at it, it had already started to swell. And I actually gave myself a rug burn and I even had my pajama bottoms on, so who knows? So anyway, long story short, crazy things can happen. Let me tell you that I had to work from home for a week because I couldn't drive, it was my right leg, so I couldn't drive my car. And um, had to ice it, you know, four or five times a day. But the good thing was, I ended up having to go to the ER the next morning because it had swollen up so much more. And I was a little worried, you know, that I had might have broke something. But I didn't. I didn't fracture anything. I didn't break anything. I didn't dislocate my kneecap. All I had was a little bit of infusion near the joint, a little bit of water, which was from the impact per the doctor, which he said should clear up in a few days, which I think it did because I can actually feel my kneecap again, and I can actually bend my leg, um, about like this, which is better than before. And I'm still limping, but that's okay. I'm healing, and I'm healing well. And I have osteoporosis, dang. You know, I was so scared that I might've broke something or that I had fractured something, but I didn't. So is it everything I'm taking and everything I'm doing for myself is actually benefiting my bones? And this is what I'm telling you on my blog. And I understand some people are kind of like, I don't know if that's for me, you know, just taking vitamins. Maybe I need to take what the doctor wants me to take. And, but always remember, it's a temporary thing that the doctor's giving you. You can't take that for the rest of your life. Everything I'm trying to implement through my blog and through my website, you can take for the rest of your life. You can eat healthy for the rest of your life, which benefits your bones. And I truly believe that when I fell down and ended up with nothing serious, except her ego, because I felt like an idiot, and a sore knee, um, yeah, I think it's helping. I really do. I truly do. There's probably more I can do and all of us we can do. But little freaky accidents like that and in the winter time with the ice and the snow, you have to be careful. Be careful where you're walking, what you're walking around. It doesn't take much. Your foot can get caught in underneath a little rug, a throw rug, and, and you can trip. It's happened to me. I haven't fallen down. <coughs> Excuse me. But watch your surroundings. You know, be vigilant. Be aware of your surroundings when you're walking, especially when you have osteoporosis or even osteopenia, because you can still sustain a fracture having osteopenia. So I just wanted to get on here today and tell you about my little accident and be careful, okay? I could have had something more serious, like I said, and I didn't, and I'm hoping it's because of everything that I've been doing, and, and I can do more, like I said, I, I need to do more. Spring is on its way, hopefully. Snow's melting, I'm so glad about that. It's still cold, but get outside, do what you can, and um, keep your bones moving. Um, eat, eat healthy, as healthy as you can. 
or that you feel that you want to. We all have those days where we want pizzas, you know, and carbs and this and that. Hey, that's fine. That's cool. I do it, you know, but I really try and implement a healthy eating habit for myself. It's not always easy. And sometimes I get to the point where I don't even know what I'm going to cook for myself anymore. But don't give up. Think about it. Your body is important. Your bones are important. When you're diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis, it's, it's important that you take steps forward and not backwards. You want your body to heal to a certain point. And we all know that once the damage or the, the mass is lost, you can gain some of that back, but you still know that you're dealing with that on a daily basis. And that's what's important. It's, you have to think about it and not think, hey, there's nothing wrong with me. You know, it's not, it's not a big deal that I have osteoporosis or osteopenia, but it is. And that's what my blog and my um, website is all about. And I have my Instagram and my Facebook, and I wish you'd all get on there. I've got this little thing going for until Valentine's Day to answer a question that has, uh, give me a word that says love in it. You know, I love my kids, I love food, I love spaghetti, I love the outdoors, I love to ski, whatever it is. And I'm gonna send you one of these little bracelets here. You know, um, take charge of your bones. And it's from Bone Health Journey, okay? So, um, it's just a cute little game, I guess. <laughs> Something to do, and I'll send you a bracelet. So, keep watching my videos and my YouTube videos. Hit like and subscribe. It does amazing things for my site and for my, my videos. So, I wish you all a happy day. Sorry, my cat's biting my foot. Um, <clears throat> so, stay safe, ladies. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget, comment on my Facebook. I'll shoot you one of these in the mail. Have a wonderful day.